Hey there, I'm Kelly from the Simply Organized Teacher. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you around Google Drive and some ways to organize your drive for convenience. Google has a lot of features that make collaborating so much easier. It's actually what our school uses almost completely as our shared drive and where we post our lesson plans, store our meeting notes because of how simple it is to access not only your own stuff on the drive, but the things that people share with you. First, in case you're new to the Google, I want you to think of Google Drive as your computer hard drive. You save things on there just like you do on your computer, but you can access it from anywhere and on any device. So when you go to Google, you are immediately greeted with the home page, and then right over here you'll notice this grid of Google Apps. These are all of the different apps that Google offers, so obviously Gmail, Docs, Drive, Sheets, these are all different things they offer. So we're going to look at Drive today. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up my Drive. This is where it saves everything that I work on. Right up here at top is my Quick Access. These are things that I recently worked on and so they're right there for me. Then below I've got my folders. These are folders just like you have on your computer hard drive and they are organized alphabetically. I'm going to scroll down here to my language arts folder. So you can see here um, I've got a folder called language arts and then even more folders within there. Here's things for ABC order and documents and PDFs that I just drug in to my Google and organize them the way that I that worked best for me. So you can also share folder. So right here, uh, let's see, somehow this got moved. Second grade team folder. This is a team folder. You can see right here this little icon that shows all the different people that have access to it. So this is where the collaborating gets to happen on Google Drive. Anyone that has access to this folder can go in here and view these documents and edit them. Underneath our folders, are files and these are just files that haven't been uh, filed away into any of the folders. So that's your drive. You've also got over here a little tab called shared with me. These are any documents that people share for you to have access to. You can always go right up here into the search bar and you can search for files, for people, for folders, I'm going to show you how I can search. This is one of my team members. I'm searching for uh, these copies of the math plans that she shared with me. And I can go on here and open them. And now I have access to the file that she created and shared with me. I can also go in and edit it, right? You know, just type in it, and it will populate and show live on everybody else's same, uh, everybody else's when they're viewing this, it will show what I'm doing and how I'm editing it. You can also search by folder. So last week I was in a training and this folder was shared with me and I can go well, I can't because I already added it to my drive, but I could go right here and find, uh, let's see, maybe it's only folders. I already added it to my folder or to my drive, but you can, like if this, ooh, this keeps skipping on me. I'm just trying to find something that I can right click here you go right here add to my drive and then it'll automatically be in my drive and be saved to my drive so that I can access it really quickly anytime I need to without having to go search for things that were shared with me so back to my drive I've also got this tab right here new so this is where you can add new folders and new files you can also go right here to your computer I just went down here to my computer and go to documents and um, any file that I have, I can just drag over into my drive and it will upload it. And once it's uploaded, it will tell me, and then here it is right here as a file and I can go and file it in whichever folder that I 
want to. I've also got Google Docs, which this is really similar to Microsoft Word. It's, I mean, it looks almost identical. And so I can type and anyone that's looking at it can see it. I can title it. And you'll see that when I go back to my drive, it will automatically populate right here and show up in my drive. There is Google Sheets, which is Google's version of Excel. So that's another option you have. And then Google Slides. This is kind of like the PowerPoint, the Google PowerPoint. Um, I also use it as like publisher, like I would on my PC. So now I'm going to show you some ways to organize your drive. So like I said, it's organized alphabetically, your folders are. Um, you can come right here, this little thing right here shows I can click on it and it will put my files and my folders in a list view. So that's one way if that works for you. I prefer the grid view where I'm seeing the previews of each of the documents. That just helps me a little bit more. You can also color code. You'll notice that some of these are color coded. So ones that I access a lot, I have color coded so I can find them easily. So this one right here, this GYTO, I access this one a lot. So I just right click, change color, and I can change it to um, any color that is on there and that way it's a little bit easier and stands out a little bit more like subplants is one I access a lot so I'm going to change that one too right up here so oh my goodness okay um like I said they're organized alphabetically so keep that in mind when you're naming your files for example this one right here the second grade one used to just be team documents and I found that I was having to access it a lot so I retitled it second grade team so that way it pops up first in my uh, folder so that way I can access it really easy. So that's my skinny on the Google Drive. I hope that it helps you navigate this tool a little bit easier. I have another video posted on my YouTube channel about how to use Google Forms which is another app right over here. I have that video and I will link to it in the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to share this with your teacher friends and any techn technology challenge people. Happy organizing!